And on the Doppler radar right here, you can see now sliding to the southeast of Gardner, Fitchburg, Lemonster. You need to start thinking about your safe plan and Pepperell Groton Air. Pepperell Groton Air, you're out toward the, the far right-hand side of the storm, so I'm not really concerned about tornadic activity out here across northwest Middlesex County. It's right here in northern Worcester County. In fact, we'll move the radar in even closer for you. And uh, again, we are talking about showers and storms across southern New England and western New England. The safe plan that we advertise, basement or interior room, lowest floor away from windows, and the bathroom would be just fine. Blankets and pillows lay down in the bathtub. Stay away from loose objects. Don't think about going outside and looking for where that is. So again, this is where we have the uh, tornado warning in effect. That's in effect until 745. And again, uh, until we hear from the Weather Service, we're going to stay on knowing that it's uh, still in effect. Now, as we move the Doppler radar in for a closer look, this is uh, the area that we're most concerned about, Fitchburg. You notice the deep red and purple here, magenta. That's where we likely have some very heavy rain, perhaps golf ball-sized hail. We may have uh, large hail going on inside this thunderstorm as well. There is Lemonster in the uh, right-hand portion of your screen, and then Route 2 slices right through the bottom end of the storm, Gardner, right there, and it would be right in here. Do you notice how the radar is actually hooking around in that fashion? Uh, the radar is actually able to see inside the thunderstorm, see the twisting of the wind. And this is the thunderstorm that's being twisted by just enough wind up in the atmosphere uh, this afternoon and this evening to produce this tornado warning. It's a radar-indicated tornado warning, meaning that the radar looking inside of this thunderstorm right here, noticing a lot of twisting of the wind. So that's why we're on TV for this extended period of time. And the area of concern that I would have the greatest for the tornado, possible tornado, would be right around the Route 2 corridor between Gardner as well as Lemonster here, right about there as this whole thing does continue to drop east, southeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Farther north, up toward Ashburnham and Fitchburg and Lunenburg, it's more of heavy rain, frequent lightning, and the possibility of some large hail. That's why this portion of the severe thunderstorm is where we have the uh, severe thunderstorm warning in effect. And then this portion of the thunderstorm where we think we may may have a tornado uh, in effect. We, we have the tornado warning in effect until 745. It's what we call a radar indicated tornado. Have not been able to confirm there's an actual touchdown or a funnel cloud anywhere, but by looking at that, there has to be uh, some nasty wind going on somewhere along the Route 2 corridor, basically coming out of Lemonster and uh, back toward Gardner as this drops to the southeast. Again, if you're saying in Boston, why is he on TV? What is all the hubbub about? Again, there's nothing here in Metro Boston. I get that. But farther north and west, we do have powerful thunderstorms along the Route 2 corridor. It's this one right here, just about on top of Fitchburg, that is possibly producing a tornado. So again, uh, get to your interior room. Basement's the best place to be. If not, then a bathroom. Uh, and a lowest floor away from windows will work as well uh, over the next 15 to 20 minutes. So again, right here, this red box indicating where we have the tornado warning in effect for Worcester County until 745 uh, this evening as we continue to look uh, in the uh, Channel 7 uh, sky zoom here pictures, looking west out toward, uh, last I had we were out near Linfield, but you notice there there's the setting sun as well, so it's got to be looking a little bit probably uh, to the west is where that severe thunderstorm would be. Again, tornado warning in effect, Fitchburg, Lemonster, out toward Gardner. Looks like the most severe portion of the storm is now leaving Gardner. The other concern right here, if you notice all of this, um, these flashing things right here, those are lightning strikes within the last 20 minutes. And you notice the path, well, 20 minutes ago we had lightning strikes up here, and then the greatest concentration is to the southeast. And that's another area where they like to look for possibility of tornadoes is right just about to the south of the core of all that lightning strike for the possible funnel cloud and tornadoes. So again, uh, between Gardner and Lemonster crossing the Route 2 corridor, and in fact, why don't we take in for a close look here. You notice how it's really hooked around here. That's what we call a hook echo. You don't see that very often in New England, but we have it right now on the Doppler radar. Fitchburg, Lemonster, and then it bends back to the east of Gardner now. Gardner's over here, and it continues to drop southeast. Basically, it's going to cross Route 2 over the next, uh, I'd say, one to two minutes. Uh, Ashburnham, it's more of a heavy rain and lightning concern at this time. And as all this activity does continue to drop to the south and east, that's where we have the uh, greatest concern of this possible tornado. Radar indicating it's just the one cell. And if you're watching us in southern Worcester County, maybe in the city of Worcester itself or Uxbridge, not quite ready to you know, pull the trigger on that and say you need to get into your safe plans as well. This is primarily just uh, up along the Route 2 corridor 
in northern Worcester County. That's where we have that tornado warning in effect. So tornado safety, basement or interior room, lowest floor away from windows, and stay away from loose objects. Again, we'll take you back to the radar, and uh, that's what we have the concern here for, right up here in northern Worcester County. Tornado warning in effect until 745. On the Doppler radar, as we zoom out, and again, we can show you what we're talking about by the supercell thunderstorm. You notice that we do have, it's right here, basically Pepperell Air west toward Lemonster, now to the east of Gardner, just about on top of Fitchburg. This is where we have the greatest concern, basically just east of Gardner, out toward Fitchburg, and then south toward Lemonster. It would be right in that little triangle right there, right in this little notch right up in there. That's where we have the concern for this possible tornado. This is what we call a radar indicated tornado warning. There are a couple of ways you can issue a tornado warning. One, you can actually see the tornado or funnel cloud, or in this case, our Doppler radar is indicating an incredible amount of turning of the wind inside of the thunderstorm. In fact, it, the wind is turning so much in the thunderstorm, it's actually bending the back end of the thunderstorm around. It's creating what we call hook echo, how it kind of hooks around like that. And so that's a signature, a, a telltale signature, that we, we certainly have uh, rotation in the thunderstorm. Perhaps that rotation will then drop out of the thunderstorm, uh, which we would then say a funnel cloud, and then if it made touchdown to the ground, then we would deem that a tornado uh, on the ground. Uh, but again, at this time, this is a radar-indicated tornado, basically from about Lemonster west out toward Gardner. This whole thing does continue to drop off to the south and the east. And incredible amounts of lightning also being generated. Lemonster and Fitchburg. Do we know where these pictures are exactly? Uh, where are we looking over? Linfield area, okay. Uh, well, again, you notice the setting sun on the right-hand side and then moving the camera farther to the west. Uh, that's where we have the uh, approaching storm. And again, that whole thing is continuing to drop southeast into portions of uh, northern and now leaving northern Worcester County, getting down into uh, extreme east central Worcester County. So, Fitchburg. Lemonster, and then back now to the east of Gardner. Here is the Route 2 corridor, just kind of doing something like this right in here. And where the radar is bending around like that, that's that hook echo that you, that you see more often in the Midwest than you do in Massachusetts, I'll grant you that. Uh, but this is a, a unique storm this evening, a powerful thunderstorm, taking advantage of a little bit of wind upstairs where that thunderstorm is growing up into that wind field. And so that wind is now twisting that thunderstorm around. And that's why we have the radar indicated tornado warning in effect. Amanda Grace joined us a few minutes ago and she said that there was uh, no reports of tornadoes up there. They had a lot of lightning strikes in the Gardner area in Ashburnham. Amanda, do we have anything new to uh, report? Um, you're closer to the scanner than I am. <laughs> oh, sure are. Uh, believe it or not, Fishburg actually reporting heavy rain, but so far no damage there. And just watching that cell over Fishburg, it does look like they are seeing some significant weather, but so far no damage. Also, Gardner, it appears the storm just passed it by. They're reporting no damage. They did have a lot of rain, but so far so good. Ashburnham, that's where uh, also police department saying it's all quiet so far. Of course, a lot of people still you know, maybe they're in their basements. They haven't gone outside to assess some of the damage there. Uh, Winchenden, that's where the lightning strikes have been happening. The town library, town hall, the Church of Unity, all reported struck by lightning. That's according to the Winchenden Fire Department. It appears that uh, they do have some trees down there as well. Of course, that always brings the concern of power outages, those trees falling on those power lines. Obviously, concern in Winchenden tonight. Uh, but the good news, Gardner, seemingly unaffected here, also so Fitchburg right now, just heavy rains, but no serious damage. And uh, Ashburnham as well. So far, no serious damage. There's a live look right now from Sky 7. A beautiful picture, but you can see those clouds sort of billowing up. Uh, the storm is on the move. JR is tracking it.